And Dahlia now a tropical storm just off the coast of North Carolina. You can see though a lot of rain in this area with flood warnings in a few locations as well, and it's going to be a very wet first half of the day for North Carolina before this starts to move out into the Atlantic Ocean later in the day today, and that's where it will stay for several days well out into the ocean. Our forecast locally nice weather this morning. We've got that drier air in place, which is making for a pretty nice feel as the kids are heading out the door this morning. It'll be in the bottom half of the 70s, a hot afternoon though, but at least like yesterday it will be a dry heat. We may top out around 100 degrees, but it won't feel any hotter than the actual temperatures. Right now we're warm as you get closer to the middle of the city, about 80 degrees at the Hobby Airport, but outside the city limits you see some low 70s, even 70 at Dayton, 68 at Anahuac right now, up to Conroe it's 66 degrees. So these green areas here enjoying some 60s this morning. Again though, in the afternoon it's going to be a pretty hot one with highs right around 100. So dry air in place today and tomorrow. I'm going to jump ahead though on future cast into the weekend on Saturday, and this is when we get a little more noticeable humidity and moisture back in the air, and we may get a couple of spotty showers or even thunderstorms beginning to pop up. Notice just a few and far between, though. Not a whole lot of rain, but something to at least keep an eye on for the weekend, Saturday, and again on Sunday. Some spotty rain and a few thunderstorms may take shape, and it looks like the rain starts to cover a little more ground and become a bit more widespread by Labor Day. Again, I'm not expecting a, a big widespread rain, but just some scattered showers and storms with that rain chance up to about 30%. Now, as the temperatures look to be about the same this weekend, and they will be technically with the humidity going up instead of feeling like 100 the next few days, it's going to feel maybe more like 105 or even hotter than that over the weekend. So we're back to maybe seeing some heat alerts returning, especially by Sunday, and it'll be humid upper 90s with those rain chances next week.